Hello, and yes, I have another ESP32 based device. And I can't help myself, I need to catch them all. This is Lily Go TTV, and if you are my subscriber, you know that I love to program and I love these kind of devices that can be programmed. So here is my new toy. I have many ESP32 base, base development boards and most of them have color TFT screen built in. Uh, also uh, many of them have couple push buttons or even touch screen. This device is special because it have this transparent OLED display which looks great. Uh, and this display makes this device unique. Also this device comes with this remote control. So I can control it from distance. Here is a couple of examples you can download on GitHub. Here is also this fun game for you, for uh, your kids or for me. Or this chess for you. Uh, these examples shows uh, how cool is uh, this combination, this device and remote control. Uh, I received uh, this device couple days ago. Uh, during the, that time, everybody loved uh, this clock on my desk, and immediately they want to buy it. It was hard to explain them that this is more than just a simple clock. If you are int interested in buying this device, you can find the link in the description. Also in the description you can find more information about this device, so don't forget to check the description. And also don't forget to subscribe to this awesome YouTube channel. If you don't subscribe, you will probably miss um, many good... I don't know. Okay, here we have this clock example which I made in uh, less than an hour uh, inside is real-time clock chip and little battery so if I turn off this device it will not lose current time which is great I uh, programmed this clock in Arduino IDE so code is also for Arduino IDE ID. This is simple example, but I can also fetch some data from internet and show it on display because this is ESP32, so it can connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, right now it shows only time and date and some text. Uh, code is really easy to edit and understand and you can download it in description. Resolution of this OLED display is uh, 128 by uh, 64 and a library used is um, U8G2 library. He, uh, here is also this groove port for external modules. Uh, many, ma many manufacturers are now including uh, these groove ports to their devices. It is easy and simple simple way to connect something to device. Here is USB-C port for programming. As I told, Arduino IDE is currently best way to program this device. Installation is simple and very well explained on the on Seed Studio web page. Also on uh, GitHub, you can find many examples to learn from. Thank you for your time and don't forget to check description, to like, to subscribe, to share this video if you want. Um, in future I hope that I will make something interesting with this device. Also, if you are, if you tried uh, this device or you made something interesting using this, uh, feel free to write it down in comments. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.